Players behind the lines in three, two, one, go. And here we go, folks. 325, the first to move away and out of their community, earning three points for the Blue Alliance right off the bat. 1787 on the move, now on the charging station for the Red Alliance. Big Squad has done the same at the end of the autonomous period, picking up those additional points for their alliance. Now to the action here in the teleoperated period. Human players are at the controls. Keep your eye on the team from Milan. That's 2252, the Mavericks. Notice the color string on their robot. It changes color to signal to the human player at the substation which of the game pieces they'd like to have. Currently, it's glowing yellow, so they pick up a cone and make their way back across the field. Beak Squad uses a similar communication system. 4028 now delivering a cone to the top row, picking up some additional points for their alliance. Here in the teleoperated period, every game piece that's scored on the bottom row is worth two points. Scored in the middle row, that'll be worth three points. Anything scored on the top row will be worth five points. And of course, teams can earn an additional five points for each node for each link, that's uh, including three nodes on the grid. Less than a minute remaining. 27.83 nearly toppled there momentarily. Engineers of tomorrow have it firmly in their control. Beak squad soaring high through the area. Picks up the foul as they come in contact with a Red Alliance robot. 36 seconds remaining. Unofficially, your score 78 to 62. Blue Alliance out in front here in quarterfinal match number two. Blue Alliance already securing three links on their power grid. Onto the charge station goes 27 83. That'll be the engineers of tomorrow. They are docked and engaged. Eight seconds left. Beak Squad on the charge station. Their alliance partner joining them. Docked and engage. Red Alliance does the same. Two robots from each alliance. Blue Alliance will win this one 107 to 93. Red Alliance had the advantage in the mobility points at the very beginning of the match. They were tied up with their charge station, but it was their performance at the grid that.